All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast, and for the second part of the show, we are going to now get into talking about the Packers 49ers game uh, for Sunday, the rematch of the divisional round from last year. So let's get into that. And this time it will be played in Lambeau Field. Um, and, you know, the Packers coming in at 7-3, and three, coming off of that win against... The Bears on the block field goal. The Niners coming off of that tough loss against the Seahawks at the very end. And, you know, we'll see what the status is of some of the key players in this matchup. Uh, There's some guys that are banged up. Brock Purdy dealing with shoulder soreness. George Kittle with the hamstring. But he said he's going to play. So that's encouraging. Getting him back is huge for this game. And then also you have Nick Bosa. And... You know, if they don't have Nick Bosa for this game, that's going to be tough. Uh, Because you saw when he got pulled out of the game against the Seahawks, the 49ers pass rush just could not get anything going. They could not stop the Seahawks. They let Geno Smith and that offense have their way. Um, So actually, looking at an update from a couple days ago, so um, Nick Bosa, well, as of right now, it just says, uh, will be evaluated throughout the week. Uh, Traverius Ward, one of their corners, he could be back against the Packers, so that would be huge. George Kittle, like I said, could be back. Um, I'm seeing that Nick Bosa missed practice again, so that's not good. Uh, if they don't have him, that that's going to be a huge blow for this team. But, look, it's not like... Look, the Packers, I think, are a good team, but the Packers have not played their best ball yet. Jordan Love continues to turn the ball over, which has been an issue. Um, Look, they're still winning games, so they'll figure it out. It's kind of like what I was talking about with the Lions earlier in the year. Now look at the Lions. Look at what they've been doing to teams lately. Now, I'm not saying the Packers are going to be like that, but the Packers still haven't played their best ball yet. So, and the 49ers are coming in desperate. They are coming in desperate. And the Packers are coming off of that huge win. You know, it looked like they were going to lose for the first time against the Bears in a long time. And it didn't happen. And like I said, like I just said, 49ers are coming in desperate. And they have to win this game. And will they be able to rise to the occasion and get the win? Right now, they're the underdogs. Um, which usually that doesn't happen. The Niners usually are the favorites in a lot of their games. Not here. Not here. Um, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be on the road. Um, you know, they're still trying to work in Christian McCaffrey, get him back to full strength. And he's coming along. You know, he's made plays. Uh, I'd like to see him get in the end zone. Maybe that'll happen this week. Um with getting Kittle back, the Niners will at least have their full array of weapons. As long as Brock Purdy is able to play. Because uh, now if you get Kittle back and now Purdy's out, then, you know, uh, that that's that's going to be a huge blow. But I think he is going to play. Seems like he's going to play. So the 49ers will have their full array of weapons for this game. And, you know, you saw... Last week against the Seahawks, they missed they, they missed Kittle. They needed him back. And they're going to get him back for this game, and that's going to open things up for them. You know, not just, you know, in the passing game, but in the running game as well, because George Kittle can block. You know, that that's what makes him such a very good tight end. He's very versatile. He can do a lot of different things for this team. And, you know, with him being back, like I said, you open up the running game too. And maybe McCaffrey breaks off a big run for a touchdown or something in a, in a crucial moment. So, um, like I said, the Niners are coming in. They, they, they want to win this game. Because right now, with the tiebreakers, they're in last place. They're in last place in their own division. I, you, who would have thought that was going to happen? Now, I know people definitely expected them to, you know, regress a little bit because of, you know, the Super Bowl hangover. And they, they did. Um, And the other thing, too, is they are a few plays away, and I'm pretty sure I brought this up. They're a few plays away from being 8-2. And 
if they're able to hold on to leads. And that has been their biggest problem all year, is the inability to close games out. You know, you were up by a couple of scores against the Rams. You lost that. The Cardinals game, you blew that at the end. And then the most recent loss to the Seahawks. Those could have very easily have been wins. You could be 8-2 and two and you're a top two seed right now in the NFC. So the Niners are not far off, but they got to start winning games. And, you know, you got a tough stretch here. The next two games are both road games and they're against playoff teams, the Packers and against the Bills. And I said, I think they could at least split the next two games. If they could do that and then get to, you know, some home games, then you got the Dolphins after that, which two of being back, they've looked better. Um, you know, we'll see. But I, I still think this team is going to make the playoffs. I still think this team is going to find a way to win this division. It, it would really shock me if this team ends up just flat out missing the playoffs entirely. But some of the and even some of the games that they've won, it was pretty close. I mean, the 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 first meeting between the Seahawks that got a little dicey at one point. They did they were able to close that game out. Um, the Cowboys tried pulling off a late comeback against them. The Bucks and uh, the Niners that game that was close. You know, it took a game winning field goal by Jake Moody, even though he missed a ton of field goals in that game. So you know, there's some games that they won that they could have lost. Right now, the line is three. Niners are three-point underdogs. And looking at the league rankings for these teams, the 49ers are fourth in passing yards per game. Packers are 11th. Obviously, that'd be a little bit higher if Jordan Love didn't miss some time. And then both teams, when it comes to running the football, they've both been solid. They're both top 10. Niners are seventh, and the Packers are fourth. Josh Jacobs has been really good for them. And he might be a problem for the Niners because, you know, the Niners have had issues stopping the run at times, and, you know, that could be something that happens here. Both teams are eighth in points per game, averaging 25 points per game. Then defensively, Niners are actually sixth against the pass, giving up an average of 210.1 passing yards per game. The Packers are 14th, giving up an average of 226.1 passing yards per game. Then against the run, Niners are 8th, Packers are 14th, so, I mean, you figure the ground game is going to play a factor in this matchup with McCaffrey on one side and Josh Jacobs on the other. And then points allowed, Packers defense is 10th, and the 49ers defense is 16th. And both quarterbacks have played well this season. Um, Jordan Love, you know, the interceptions are a little high with 11 Purdy has eight that's something that they got to work on is Jordan Love limiting the turnovers um you know and like I said the 49ers are desperate Packers you know they also are like hey this team beat us in the playoffs last year we want to avenge that loss uh, because the Packers they came very close to winning that game one could argue that they should have won that game but they didn't and you know the 49ers and the Packers, this is these are two franchises that have matched up a ton of times uh, over the years. Um, obviously, you know even before you know I was alive, but um, you know I, I saw a lot of playoff matchups between these two teams. You know, obviously the Kaepernick game, um, you know the uh, Game-winning field goal in the 2013-2014 playoffs. The NFC Championship game when Raheem Mostert ran for over 200 yards. Uh, there were some regular season matchups as well. Um, you know, they, back in 2021, a few years ago, you had Rodgers with those two throws to Devontae Adams that put them in the field goal range, and Mason Crosby made that. Of course, the, the 49ers still beat them in the playoffs without scoring an offensive touchdown that year, uh, which that could have been... That might have been Rodgers' last, well, that really was Rodgers' last uh, chance to get to, get back to a Super Bowl. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it, it's kind of all gone in the 49ers' favor. So the Packers want to change that. And I think, you know, this is a game, I, I think these teams are evenly matched. Because the way the 49ers are playing, 
You know, the Packers are playing good football, not playing the best. You know, I, I think it's anybody's game here, and especially with the Packers being at home. You know, and the Packers can step up during these big games. I mean, remember last year, that Sunday night game against the Chiefs? You know, the Packers won that. You know, this is it, it's kind of got that same feel to it. Even though the Niners don't have a great record, they're still respectable. They're, you know, you still got Kyle Shanahan as the head coach, even though I think people have kind of maybe had enough of him because of just blown leads this season and just, you know, not being able to get the job done in the playoffs, um, winning that big game. Uh, because, you know, th those two Super Bowls that they lost to the Chiefs, they, they had a chance. But uh, they ended up losing those leads. So, um, but having said all that, who do I think wins? I think the 49ers get this win. I think they're coming, like I said, I think they're coming in desperate. You know, Packers are coming off of that miracle win against the Bears. Jordan Love has been solid, but has not been great. I think, you know, turnovers could continue to be an issue in this game. Um, I expect Christian McCaffrey to have a good game. Getting George Kittle back also is huge. And, you know, you got to respect the Packers wide receivers on their side. Christian Watson coming off of that big game last week against the Bears. Uh, Jaden Reed has been good for them all year. Um, you know, Romeo Dobbs has made plays for them, of course. You know, they, they got, I mean, obviously their receivers are not as good as the 49ers receivers. Um, well, actually, it's kind of even now, re receivers-wise. Um, you know, Debo Samuel has kind of had a little bit of a disappointing year, you know, with him being hurt and also dealing with pneumonia. Um, Ricky Pearsall is working his way back. Juwan Jennings has been good. Uh, so it is, you know, it, it kind of even there. But, you know, you got George Kittle back, so obviously that would, you know, uh, move the needle more towards the Niners and Christian McCaffrey as well. But, you know, can't disrespect Josh Jacobs because he's been good for them this year as well. Um, I think this will be a good game. This is going to be a close game, but I am going to take the Niners here. Now, if Nick Bosa is out, that's going to be a problem. But I still think that the Niners will squeak it out get the win, get yourself back to over 500, and then go from there. But let me know what you guys think about this game. Who do you think wins? Let me know in the comments. So before we go to break, just want to remind you guys once again, zip or donate, get your comments recognized. Make sure to hit that super chat button if you want to see any thought or comment. If you want to see me acknowledge any thought or comment you may have throughout the live broadcast. It makes the show more lively, more entertaining between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. We appreciate you guys' viewership each and every day, so any contribution you can make to the show means the world to us as we put out content for you guys each and every day. And also, the other way to help out the show is by going to the link at the bottom of the show segment on the ticker, gsmcpodcast.net. That is gsmcpodcast.net. So when we come back from our next break, we will talk about the Sunday night football matchup between the Rams and the Eagles. So make sure to stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast.